Hi YouTube, uh, I'm making today besan halwa. I hope so you like. This is like a really good dish. Um, it's actually more of a dessert, perfect for winter. Like you know, if you're very cold, you want to cuddle with something or cuddle with your loved ones. Just go ahead and make this, and it's like a very like warm kind of a um, dessert. This is green hard almond, like three to four. Besan, one third cup. This is raisin, this uh, mixed nut. There's uh, the cashew nuts in there, regular peanuts, and then there's also walnuts. This is sugar and milk. The sugar, I know it seems like it's a lot, uh, but that's not uh, that's not like the whole thing. We're not gonna put the whole thing in it. We're just kind of uh, dependent all on our taste. But there is gonna be a lot of sugar in this, and a lot of fat, a lot of oil. But hey, it's totally worth it because it's delicious. Then we also have um, half a cup of oil right here already on a stove. So my mom threw in the uh, green cardamom first, and we're just gonna mix it. And this is for um, the scent. This really doesn't do much with the flavor. It's more, morely used for uh, the scents. That's why a lot of people usually put this in teas, or if you're running out of the house and you don't have gum in your pocket, you can throw one of these in your mouth and the scent goes away or the very nasty, disgusting morning breath goes away. We're gonna go ahead and pour in the besan, garbanzo flowers, or chickpea flour, whatever you wanna call it, and then just start mixing it. I know it seems like it's a lot. Well, because it's a, it is. But at the end, it'll all dry up. So you pretty much want to fry the basin in there. And uh, as you can see, it is. If my mom lets it go. Oh, there go. There go. As you can see, if my mom lets it go, you're going to start to see it rising. Like, it's starting to raise up uh, because it is boiling and stuff. So once you know that uh, the way to find out if it's boiling or if it's cooked is the color of this is going to change into, like, a little darker tone. That'll let you know that it's getting fried and then also it's going to uh, dry out. And you'll also notice it from the scent. It'll serve two people. Throw the raisin in it and the mixed nuts. And then you just want to go ahead and keep cooking. Next you want to go ahead and pour the milk in it and you want to keep a good eye in the video to see how much my mom just poured in. You want to have a lot of milk in there so uh, that was pretty much I'd say like two cups of milk. And my mom is now just going to keep stirring. As you can see it is getting very thick. It's tr it's getting more like a pudding kind of uh, we're at the pudding kind of a state right now. Now you want to go ahead and pour sugar in there. Sugar depends on your flavor so if you're diabetic please use Splenda. Do not use the regular sugar. Pour sugar in it uh, depending on how much you need in yours. So to find out whether your halwa is made or not, uh, is if you stir if you stir it, you'll see that it is not going to stick to the pan and you can literally like move it around anywhere without it like sticking. You see what I mean? It's it's not even sticking. Like you can spin it, do whatever you want to do with it. And that's how you know it is made. When it's not touching, you really want to keep stirring then. It is going to be very, very hot. Um, so you do want to be careful. Like honestly, this is probably like one of the hottest like dishes ever. This is the best in halwa. I hope so you like and see you next time.